Hello everybody, my name is Hellkaiser, and welcome back to DMC Devil May Cry. Uh, we're on like mission 15 out of, uh, yeah, mission 15 out of 20, and so I don't know how long some of these missions are. We've been covering about two to three episodes per, uh, per episode, and so hopefully we can get through the game in this one and then we'll start the Virgil DLC. Uh, I, I honestly have to say I'm excited to get this game through because like for every time I think to myself, you know, this is actually a really good combat system. I think, well, it's got a lot of, of problems that do frustrate the player into not necessarily liking it as much. And there's a lot of things like that. There we go. We own all of Osiris's upgrades. I like to get all of, uh, Eric's is upgrade too, because that's my favorite. These are my favorite weapons. Although I do like the uh, versatility, uh, or the utility, I should say, of Aquila's abil abilities. I like to get inverse rainstorm too. Like I said, instead of doing this, why didn't they just pull a bayonetta and let us be able to practice in the loading screens? I want to say right now there's graphic content, so skip about two or three minutes ahead uh, if you are... Uh, I don't want to spoil, but if you're afraid of violence towards children. She seems really scared. Notice how different Dante's handling her. He's not being rough with her. Whereas they throw Cat on the ground after being injured and all that. So can he see from up there? The color of his guns don't even look that different from one another. That's one of the things I don't like about this Embony and Ivory. Sorry. Sorry about the ring camera. Yeah, like I said, skip ahead if you so desire. This is honestly extremely tense. <laughs> Again, good scene so far, then it just, like everything else in this game, it goes to hell in a handbasket. Pun not intended. Why, Virgil? That single-handedly ruined this game for me.
Why wouldn't he wait till she was further away, too? Also, they have Stormtrooper aim. Okay, he's getting shot bad. So they are hitting Dante, but it's just not affecting him. The hell did you do that for? I had to. You don't fuck with a god. Yep, he definitely Get is pissed here. off. Go! Why was only Dante dragged They're into limbo? Make it. Okay, let me pause for a second and let me discuss that scene. To me, even when I first played the game, that single-handedly ruined it for me. I am pro-life and I'm very proud of that. Now, I know it's a demon here, but I feel like that there's a thousand ways... They could have done that, and that was the worst. First off, it I already complained about Virgil's character being... They missed an opportunity to show him fight. Here, they literally take a character who was more like a mere reflection of a more mature, intelligent Dante, and turned him into, you know, a murderer. Just plain and simple, he murdered... Uh, a pregnant demon and her child and yes it's the spawn of mundus and all that stuff but still it's one of those things where there's a lot of things they could have done it, it didn't even feel necessary because first off that whole boss fight with that baby was sickening anyway they could have just had him trade girl for girl and then shoot her and it still would have made because you see here's the thing about Virgil in the mainline series he doesn't like guns because he doesn't believe that they are proper tools of a warrior he's like a samurai his weapon is a samurai sword the the most underhanded tactic i guess you could say he'll use is freezing time and his daggers and stuff like that and that's not even really underhanded to him that's just using his power uh having him snipe and kill somebody like that and just murder innocent policemen. Just, like I said, it would have made more sense if they wanted to show a scene like that for Dante to just go ahead and kill the cops after she was hurt, like him stay in the real world and murder every other cop that was around. They didn't have to do that, and to me, it was a very bad taste scene. The, again, this game just wanted to be edgy, and... You honestly feel for the demon lady there, Lilith, because, I mean, she's cooperating. You can tell she's genuinely concerned for the life of her and her child. And it just, it honestly makes Mundus out not to be such a bad guy. But, like I said, if anything, I honestly believe if they really was committed to making that scene, they should have had Dante be the one that pulled the trigger. Because, like I said, it would mirror, you know, the demon rising to, you know, how low can he go to become the next demon lord or something like that. Uh, I've talked about it before, like his life mirroring Mundus's. And to me, like I said, it just, that, that sickens me. The only game I've ever seen do a scene like that even close to, to, to justice would be The Last of Us 2. And I hate The Last of Us 2, but I personally thought that when Ellie killed a pregnant woman, she didn't know it was a pregnant woman, it was an accident. You know, or I think she did know, I, but it was, again, it was an accidental death. That was intentional, and there's a, there's a much bigger difference. And just, like I said, very, very poor taste. Why does his car have to say V for Virgil? 
What is this where the car moves forward a couple of times and then time freezes? Is it just Dante moving that quickly, or what is it? Not enough. Get down. That didn't even sound like the same voice actor right there. Crap. And again, another crappy platforming section. And a game that's already littered with too much stuff that wastes time. Dang. What's the point of this? Crap. I thought I could outspeed him. Hail to the king, baby. Okay, is there not anyone else I'm supposed to fight here? Oh, crap. Why can't Virgil ever get out of the car and do it? So that, you're serious, that ruined my combo. Oh, crap. Are you serious? Why is it not doing what I want? Shh. For crying out... I'm going to restart there because that's just going... To... I can't get the stupid game to do what I want it to do. Are you, and again, I ran out of time because I'm trying to style on them. So the game is now punishing me for trying to kill my enemies in the most stylish way possible. Why is it not doing what I want it to do? It's just doing that same combo over and over again. I'm hitting, I'm pausing like I'm supposed to. Oh yeah, there we go. I feel like I'm just playing catch up with this car and it's very annoying. Like is the world really falling apart or am I in limbo? I don't, I honestly don't know. Oh crap. I hate these stupid platform sections. Because you feel like you're supposed to move immediately, but you're apparently not. I hope I don't get punished for this. I got another key. Okay, go, 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 go. Where am I supposed to go? Oh, oh crap.
And I'm too late. Oh, am I? No. Go, 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 go. Go, 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 go. Crap. Hit it! Ooh. I don't deal with time-sensitive stuff very well. Yeah, so that was real damage, apparently, just from him getting angry. Justifiably. I got a D? Because it took me four minutes? You've got to be kidding me. Well, I got four deaths, too, but still, good lord, a D? Okay, next mission. So at least that was all done in under 16 minutes. Because, because of Virgil. My decision. My cross to bear. But you won't even be upset by it. You have no right to decide the fate of so many. I know it was extreme, okay? I know there was cost. But it worked. Mundus acted impulsively. In anger. The Hellgate is spent, and Mundus with it. For the time being, at least. But now is the time to strike. Cat is in no state to do anything. Yes, I am. You need me. We don't need you. What is it they well, want they you to do? Me. I left my body. That's how I endured for so long. But other than scratching up your eye, they don't really look like they've done that much I to you. I Mundus's tower. I know how it works. How it's wired. How it feels. She doesn't even look that messed up. Need me to defeat Mundus. And you need each other. I'll discuss my problems with Virgil's theory here in a minute. So the Hellgate is the main source of Mundus's power. It can only be reached from his chamber. He must break into the chamber and close the Hellgate. Mundus is still weak from his last outburst. This is your chance to defeat him. Mundus doesn't know that Virgil is Nephilim. We can use that to our advantage. There's a back door into the tower located here. Virgil, you must reach the security room undetected. So Dante, you will create a distraction here. Hey guys, you looking for a fight? Why do all this Ocean's Eleven crap when you could just literally have the two brothers go through the front door and show them kicking A together? Fucking boots. Me, a god. Versus you, a piece of shit. Could you not have just ran some of these lines through the through the writers' room just once or twice? Because they really could use some work. It's one of those things that when you hear the actors saying that you should be making emergency rewrites. Okay, now let me get my opinions before I forget it. So, realistically speaking, uh, Virgil just did that to weaken Mundus. If he had just said, we couldn't let the Demon King's child into this world, that would have made at least a little bit more justification. So he killed an innocent woman and her child just to piss off Mundus. And then... To understand the second bit of information, the original Mundus didn't really get that much screen time. Let's let's be fair. He, he's talked about, uh, even up to five he's talked about, but he's not really present until like the very last level of DMC 1. But they make him intimidating. This is the man that Sparta beat years ago, and... 
or couldn't kill but just like sealed away because that's like how powerful he was dante technically couldn't kill him he just sealed him away uh but you know they make him intimidating he looks like a god he has like all this power to drag him into different dimensions and stuff like that and i guess for the time he was a pretty in intimidating antagonist but here they turned mundus who realistically when you look at like how great DMC three was, and and my personal opinion, there's some people that think DMC one was the pinnacle of the series, and you, you know I would agree it's a fantastic game, but I believe three was better. Uh, Virgil was the peak for for most people of that series of antagonists. Uh, that's why he's back in five as the antagonist. Uh, using Mundus, a character that didn't really get that much time and and stuff as the main antagonist and then not only do they use him they neuter his powers in a lot of ways mundus was just powerful he just was it, it, and it dante could barely defeat him it took him and trish together to finally take him down even dante couldn't do it on his own uh and now he's got this MacGuffin thing called a hellgate giving him power i i don't why J just why if he's supposed to be a god, that's a pretty fatal weakness for a god. You know what I mean? It's just one of those things where I feel like they could have written him to be much, much more intimidating without the Hellgate crap and all that. Oh, he's weak after throwing a temper tantrum. Like, that it, That would have been better if they just... That, that didn't even phase him. That's just like a fraction of his power. Uh, instead, so that he blew his load on blowing up the city and not even killing the people who killed his mistress and his child that that's bad writing if you ask me like i said i i'm a writer i'm not you know big time nothing like that but i i am a writer and to me a writer is someone who picks up a pen and writes and tries to create worlds with it i feel like this game really could have benefited from having either better writers or just going taking the story they had and editing it a lot because there's a lot of stuff that feels like either it was on the cutting room floor or that needed to be on the cutting room floor and redone and that's just I'm, I'm sorry to go on that little rant there but there's so much stuff about this game that the plot just falls apart like when i played bayonetta i almost legitimately couldn't have tell you what bayonetta's plot was about but it was there Games like this don't need a real big plot. DMC 1 didn't really have a big plot. DMC 2 had almost no plot whatsoever. DMC 3 was just a brother versus brother. You know, pretty simple story. Uh, hack and Slash game, whatever the heck Metal Gear Rising was, just nano machines, son. Uh, it's a hack and slash. You should put the gameplay first and story just in the background. It's not super necessary. Uh... And like a, even when you look at three, which was a pretty simplistic story, yet again, the simpler stories seem to do better than this more convoluted story. It feels like this was something that should have been a much longer game to tell this story. And then there's so much stuff like why have Virgil go through the back door? Again, it's like they they had this character, but they didn't want to show him fight. They didn't want to show him do nothing. They just want to show him blow the head off a pregnant woman. Could they not have had just a cool scene with Virgil fighting? You know, because, like I said, you look at 3, you look at 5, there's plenty of cool scenes of the character. Heck, even just the special edition of 4 really did a good job with fan service on the character. Why is it, was it so difficult here? I don't understand. Okay, whoa. Is this the real world or is this limbo? I can't even tell anymore. Oh, and I never finished my my, uh, my plot. Um, oh yeah, no I did, I said it. it it's hard to believe though that Virg Virgil would be willing to let literally so many people die over something so stupid though. Could there not have been another way? Virgil makes his way into the tower. I mean, they say he's, you know, they show he's kind of emotionless, but he doesn't seem to be that emotionless. 
Are you serious? Are you serious? Come on, why didn't that kill her? Oh crap. Come on! Now that... They're crying out loud, game. Sometimes, like I said, shielded enemies and color-coded stuff like that really does bring down this really good combat system. Along with the need of several button mashes that don't feel all that necessary. Like, literally. There's too many ways to do things. How does she learn all this just from exploring? Like, did they just leave the plans? Oh, I'm just supposed to ignore these guys or something, I guess. Once inside, you will face Mundus's elite guard. You mean the same guy who's been running away, pretty much, just with a different colored man? Showtime. Okay, that's really getting annoying that he can do that. Okay, I'm in the critical. I can't even lock on! I'm not even hitting that button to keep doing the, the toggle attack. Oh yeah, now that felt good there. That should be like how all the enemies feel this game if they're gonna have that gimmick of color instead of color coding. Man, that's loud. In instead of color coded bullcrap, why not just have characters like that that just feel like mini bosses almost, and just in terms of difficulty and stuff, and how they can teleport around and block your attacks.
Okay, what kind of... What should we get for like our last upgrade? Inverse Rainstorm. Now, we probably won't get enough gems to ever buy that third Devil Cross, so I'm going to go ahead and buy a Health Cross. The corporate offices are heavily defended. One exception is floor 87, which is unoccupied. There, you will reunite with Virgil. Too bad he doesn't do anything. Is there anything else down here, or is this literally just a, a trip for that? that? That seems wasteful to make this massive staircase just for that. Make sure my recording's okay. Yep, so far it is. Oh, so we are in limbo. So once again, we don't get to fight next to Virgil. You good, brother? Yeah, good. Here you'll split. Dante, make your way to the east wing. Virgil, you will make your way to the west wing. So we why say we would reunite if we're just gonna pass each other in the hallway? Why isn't he in limbo? Dante, you will have to cross a sky bridge to get into the east wing. You will find the sky bridge along this path. Virgil will take over the servers in the west wing. He'll clear the way for you. Okay, I don't mean to keep pausing, but I just gotta talk about this. If I was writing this game, and I was told like by the publishers or, or by the head of the, the creative team, Virgil's character stays the same, but you can rewrite certain parts of the game, Here's what I'm telling you I would do. Instead of having Mundus know nothing of his existence of being another Nephilim, I would have had him think that he was the only Nephilim, and then Dante comes around and screws it up and makes it worse for him. And, like, have him be kind of scarred, maybe not physically, but, you know, just you could tell, you know, make him into the way he is in the original games, this cold, emotionless kind of man, you know, kind of like he's seen one battle too many, and you can tell, like, it's taking a toll on him. And that's why he is okay to do the actions he is and take other people's lives into his own hands and gamble with them. He's ready for this war to end. It's cost him so much he doesn't care anymore about the cost for others. He's so used to having to make that call, you know, with other demons or something. And make Have like Mundus have bosses under him, you know, like in Christian mythologies like Belial and Beelzebub and, and different... Uh, Demon Lords, Diablo, I think is one. Uh, you know, have something like that and have like, okay, he took them all down single-handedly with no help from anybody. He's been fighting this silent war for years and it's just drained him. Uh, and have him be a, a fighter here, show off his abilities. We never get to see Virgil fight. Think about that. And that sounds very stupid. That's like if in the next Devil May Cry game, they feature Dante, but he never fights. You know what I mean? It, it doesn't fit. Virgil was always a man of action. He was never just like this guy who sits around and supervises while everybody else has does all the work. Hello. What the? Oh yeah, these guys. Crap! That's fire. There we go. That was a pretty decent combo. Okay. I'm gonna go this way. 
And so there's like a lot of weird art style things. Like now the game's like doing this art chalkboard art style when they're like plant showing the plan and stuff like that the game really needs better art direction too i know some people like the the, the, the level design but i personally never liked it so don't try to cross it just yet dante could get through that very easily the real dante would just walk straight through it because he doesn't care about pain Bingo. Once clear, make your way into the east wing. Be careful. These floors are occupied. You will encounter Floor 87. This is the finance wing. Those the who are here are barely human anymore. They have been corrupted beyond recognition. Why? And oh, hello. Day, all of humanity will be enslaved to Mundus, like these poor souls. So this Whoa. is corporate hell. See what I mean? Like, there's too much messages like that that don't really fit the Devil May Cry persona very well. Whoa. Ow. Why add enemies like that when you're already fighting pretty tough enemies? Okay, that doesn't work. Like, that really doesn't work, game. That really doesn't work. That doesn't work. I'm just going to chipping away at my own health by trying to. Maybe I just need to be, like, really far away from him when I try it. I can't even swing before that thing gets to me. There's no way to actually do that. Did I just avoid that fight? Apparently I did. Why make me be able to do that? So you can actually just... Or is he getting... Oh, no, he, he's coming for me. Ow. Come on, I dodged that. Are you serious? Okay, I got taken down. Okay, take care of the... Yeah, that doesn't work. Okay, that's annoying that there's these air enemies while I'm trying to fight the, this guy. Demon pull! Sometimes the controls just are unresponsive, and I, I'm not just making that up. I legitimately try to do things the way the game tells me to do it. Okay. There we go, I did it that time. I'm still never going to do that again.
for crying out loud, quit zipping around the arena and just hit the bastard. I'm not even hitting the button that would make me do some of these, like, dash attacks. I'm telling you, the lock-on and half the crap in this game just doesn't work. Lock on for crying out loud. Where'd he go? Is he just gone or is he stuck in the wall? Whoa. Nope, there he is. There we go. Okay, is that just like... Okay, that just damages you. Man, that drains quickly. I'm literally holding down the right trigger. I don't even know why my angel attacks were working there. In case you're wondering, right trigger is demonic attacks. Left trigger is angel attacks. Is there anything back here? Are you serious? Another key. There's like a lot of secret areas, but there's nothing in these secret areas, if that makes any sense. They're like worth risking your life for. They feel very empty. Like a lot of this game. And up to the next floor I go. What does she say? Floor 105? Skybridge? Yeah. Why can't you just get, like, right back on the elevator? Like I said, a lot of this game... Not that way, then. Simple logic that just seems to get messed up. Oh. How did that hit me? Oh. Again, how did that hit me? A lot of this game, I'm telling you, really just gets annoying after the first right. go. No turning back. Shit. At least it's all the low level starter enemies. 
Oh yeah. Hitting me. Characters like this witch are just annoying enemy types that require shields, and the freaking lock on half the time just doesn't work. My triggers half the time don't seem to be working right. She darts away the minute you quit wailing on her, which makes it extremely annoying. See what I mean? You can't even do the abridge combo. I'm locked onto her, but it won't pull her. Again, how did that hit me? Half the time you can't even see that attack as it's starting. Greed is great. See, again, it's a lot of stuff like they live. You could tell if these guys were influenced by that movie. What's in here? So what's the point of this room being opened? Oh great. Are you serious? That really gets annoying after the first few minutes. Because I don't really have a devil trigger to restore my health or anything. And my dodge button's about as reliable as sticking cheese on the controller and hoping that they'll play the game automatically. I can't see half the things on the dang screen. I'm telling you, the color-coded enemies really do ruin a lot of things. What's the point? And if you wanted to do... You can, in theory, go like this. Switch weapons over to your next weapon. You know, and you can create, like, a, a combo using every single weapon in the game. And then those enemies come along and screw it up. Because even if you do do it... Uh, 
they are unstunned in that, which makes it very annoying. Sell more debt. Oh no you don't! Okay, destroy the soda machine. Anything over there? Nope. That went well. Ooh, a Devil Star. I might need that. Anything else over here? Staircase going up and down. Is there anything down here? I can't even, oh, there's a secret level or a secret mission. Okay, this is like the first secret mission we got to do in a long time. Reach the goal within the time limit. Man, the music is intense. For what seems like a pretty casual experience. Oh crap. Why would they do it like that? Because I'm so trained that with something like that I'm supposed to jump to it and instead it pulls it completely to me. Okay, come on, move, move, move. You know, why didn't they just give him angel wings for doing some of those jumps? It would have been a lot cooler. Okay, come on. 25 seconds, I can do this. Got it. Easy. Piece of a health cross. So how many pieces of those do I have? One. <laughs> that shows about how many of those secret missions I've had. Also, see, they add to your time, because if you try to explore for collectibles, you gotta go all the way up and down this extremely long staircase, and that just makes your time even worse. There we go. You don't even get that many red orbs from things like that. You mean they haven't detected my presence already? Come on, Virgil. Can't you walk through those? Virgil. Just be careful you don't trigger the tempering mechanism. Bingo. Bingo. And he triggered it. Not bingo. Uh, that's Why not say jackpot? That was literally an opportunity to say jackpot for both of them. 
Virgil, you must not let yourself get dragged into limbo, or you will lose your ability to hack the servers. If you are detected, it's all over. I can make it. Why do it this way? Just let him be a man and walk through. It would have been a cool scene. Solid Snake walked through a freaking microwave when the time called. Let Dante have to like be burnt and charred up. It would be cool looking. I don't even have enough. Whoa. Whoa. Crap. Why can't I? I can't use the angel. Oh, I'm literally hitting the button. I'm telling you, at times, the controls of this game are completely broken. The range of that really could have used some work, too, because that doesn't do what you think it would do. Is he, like, stuck? No, he's there. Come on. Are you Ow. That that worked. <laughs> I hope I'm going the right way. I think I am. Virgil will meet you by the main elevator. Okay, then that means I'll go this way. Okay, come on. Is that really it? Like I said, you'd think they'd add just a few more collectibles or something like that. Okay, I don't have enough money to do anything. So what's the point of these divinity statues at the time? They serve literally no purpose. Over here. Oh, there you are. Here, you will rendezvous with Virgil. Seems you underestimated Cat. I didn't. You really care about her. About all of this. You once said you didn't give a shit. Take the elevator up to floor 154. But you really don't care about anything. Here, Dante, take this. I took it off a security guard. Might look like a taser in the real world, but it's a powerful demon weapon in limbo. See, so he could have got that early and, like, had to tase the SWAT team because he didn't want to kill him. It would have been a cool scene. You will make your way towards Mundus's chamber in the real world. Dante, there's no way through from Limbo. So you will have to go via the West Wing. Okay, so again, they're always separated. Find the West Wing Sky Bridge. We're gonna probably go over here just a couple of minutes, but I'm gonna see this level through to the end. It's almost over. What's up with him? Okay. I will admit, Kablooey does some damage.
That wasn't the combo I wanted, but it was effective. See, like, what's the point of that? It, it, it doesn't do anything. It doesn't add to the art style or nothing of the game. Okay, am I missing something? Am I supposed to, like, go out the window or... Out this door? Whoa. Like, what's this demonic voice? It, it would've been cool if they at least said it was Mundus or something. But it never does you anything. Crazy. You'll have to go up five stories of hell. I hope you make it. It's gonna be tough. Okay, come on. We we gotta move. There we go. Another secret mission. Let's do it. Bait and switch. Kill all enemies within the time limit. Enemies only take da damage while the demon evade damage bonus. Are you serious? That's not good timing. See, these guys take so long to hit. Okay. How do I get Demon of Aid to work? How last second do you mean? Okay, that worked. That's not last second enough for you. There we go. Okay, now a devil cross. Okay, if this mission goes on any longer, I'll just cut it and then uh, we'll finish it in the next episode or something like that. There should be like mid-mission uh, checkpoints, but maybe we'll go straight up. Why is this elevator got music when none of the others do? She was right. This is hell. Oh, because it's supposed to be a joke. Ah, much better. At this point, you should see the main core, Dante. You have to break in somehow. Oh, not these guys. No, these guys are about to give me a conniption again. out loud whoa out why isn't that hurting him I thought it just said completely can deal damage to him oh I think it means only to his back there we go. Are you serious? If I had just activated Devil Trigger, I would have lived. 
But look how I didn't gain any DT in that fight almost. hit no no you die Because I, I can't shoot my guns and use my whip at the same time, sometimes I very for, forgetful. Ow. There. Oh, not you guys again. How is that one any different than the others? This is your opportunity to say something cool. Man, it uses up a big portion of your DT just to activate it. I never realized that before. That's the problem. Why would they make it take such a big chunk just to activate it? So you have to pay a toll to activate an ability that takes three, four missions to fill up. That seems like a failure of game design there. So I don't even get the extra damage boost from the last second evade. down. How can he still dodge and wee when he's down? There we go. Okay, move, move, move. I had health. Why does it? Oh, so it's just going to be like one of those things that ruins your score at the end of the mission. That that's nice of the devs. Knock knock. Okay, mission complete. We're about ten minutes over, so I won't do a long outro. Uh, hope you guys have enjoyed me getting another D rank. Uh, hope. I hope you guys enjoyed. Like I said, I, I'm not trying to put blame on the game for stuff, but I'm going to be straight up honest. There was times when I'm hitting the button to do like the angel pull, and half the time the angel pull doesn't work unless an enemy's like in the air. And then half the time, because of the, the weirdness of the control scheme, I feel like they could have maybe reworked it a little bit. Or just what was wrong with just the good old-fashioned toggle like it was on DMC Devil May... Or regular Devil May Cry. Uh, I can't shoot my guns and I find myself like trying to use my whip and I'm trying to use my whip and I'm trying to... And I'm accidentally shooting my guns. Uh, the button that tells you which weapon you have is a bit 
too small, you know, the little indicator. It's better on Devil May Cry when it just flashes the, the thing real big. Uh, there's a lot of things that are just like quality of life things that need to be fixed to this game. And I thought this definitive edition was supposed to fix them. And there's still a lot of issues. But anyway, hope you guys have enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you have a fantastic rest of your evening.